Welcome to Obstacle Running Adventures. Hit, hit the wall and, and say, I can't do it. And then, you know, with some encouragement, they go over and, and just the, the pride and the excitement that they have of completing it is pretty exciting. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, OCR, being an OCR athlete is all about working on your weaknesses and to an extent, so is being a person, you know, just being a regular person, you better yourself by finding your weaknesses and working on them. So I love to hear that personal growth through a course out in there. Um, yeah. and can, you, can you explain the, the point system a little bit more? So I know you said that there's different tiers of obstacles. Is there just someone with like a clipboard and then they see your bib and then they, they write the number next to it? Or how does that work? Exactly, exactly. So we have people stationed at each obstacle and based on your choice when you get to that obstacle. So some obstacles are are just a flat, you know, um, point value system. So um, we have we have two 80 foot slides on the course. You do the slide, one into the pond, one into the other man made, you know, uh, pond type thing, and uh, you get 15 points for each of those. But then you come to, like we said, the the monkey bars. You know, you, you get a third of the way, you got 15 points. You get Two thirds away, you get thirty, and all the way you got fifty. Or you come to the log carry, and we have four different weights of logs. You choose which logs you want to carry through, um, or the log pull. Same thing. Four different weights of logs you can pull up, and uh, we have a number of people who do you know one weight and say that was easier than I thought. Then they switch and uh, they up their points by by doing one of the other ones. So um, yeah uh you know it gives people a, a, an option to do something that they feel comfortable doing safe doing for themselves um but like i said a number of people came back this year that did it last year and were like you know i am gonna i'm gonna improve upon that in fact i even worked i've been in the gym working on you know my upper body strength because i was good at some things but i just couldn't do the rope climb or whatever it is and um or they'll go on uh, the internet and find the techniques for uh, how to how to climb the rope better, which is you know I, it's just exciting to me to see people want to improve themselves like that. Yeah, definitely, you can numerically see improvement from this year from last year, which I think is excellent. Uh, when I first saw the results, I was a little overwhelmed by the whole point spread, uh, but having to explain it makes so much more sense. It's very familiar, very similar to uh, there's a race in southern New Jersey. I think it's like Mullica Hills or something. They have something called Goliathon, which Goliathon, yeah. In yes. fact, that was where we got the idea from. Goliathon, interestingly, is um, one of the main organizers of the Goliathon is a alumni of Cairn University. Oh, very cool. And so when I was talking to them, I actually, they, they own a facility um, in southern New Jersey that uh, people go for uh, uh, training for triathlons and things like that. They have a, a swimming area and all kinds of stuff. And um Anyway, we did we did a couple of 5K races there, trail races there on their property. And um, in talking to them, that's where we got the idea of the whole point system was through Goliathon. So we incorporated that into uh, our event and it's worked out really well because we just have, like I said, a real mix of beginners to really advanced OCR racers who um, really come for the challenge, you know. Yeah, I love, I love that we went down. And, and, I'm, and I'm happy to report the OCR people that came for the challenge came away saying that was a challenge. I was, you know, I wasn't sure what to expect. That was that was a good OCR course, you know. Um, so I was I was I'll, I'll be honest. I was proud that, that we uh, we put them to the test on the course. Yeah, that's excellent. We went down and covered uh, Goliath on a few years ago and it was a long drive to get down there, but it was it was worth it. And that point system, it's very unique. Uh, there's not many races that do that, but. I like that. It, it's very enjoyable. And you get to, like you said, you get to see that difference uh, in the point system and everything. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can't take the credit for uh, coming up with that idea. Certainly uh, we, we sort of copied it from Goliathon, but uh, um, I, I love it because it just opens up the race to so many people. Yeah. And, and imitation is flattery. So, <laughs> yeah. So uh, how was the, the, the build and the takedown? I worked for a, a couple local OCRs up by us in Massachusetts um, and not many people understand the amount of time and effort that goes into the event before and after. Uh, so talk, talk about that a little bit. Uh, you, you, you 
are definitely right on in, in the amount of time. I think I underestimated it the first year. Mm -hmm.